Okay, I have absolutely no idea how to start this. So I'm just gonna start, I guess. It's my first vlog <laughs> and my cat wants to be a part of it. <laughs> that was such a great start. Oh, you wanna touch it? You wanna touch it? No, don't drop it. Okay, Ugh. well, this went well. Okay, okay, we can move on now. Okay, um, hi, friends. Um, and the internet, I guess. People who know me, people who don't know me. Um, this video, I guess I wanted to talk about... Um, I'm just holding my notes here. Yeah, so I just have a lot of notes. Um, I wanted to talk about my experience with... My cat is distracting me. <laughs> what are you doing? Kitty. No! no! Christ. <gasps> Ow! Stop! He just bit me. That was that was horrendous. Okay. This is how cats sabotage everything that we try to achieve in our lives. I'm trying to start a vlog about serious topic. Okay. Uh, where was I? So I wanted to just sit down and uh, talk about my experience with antidepressants, I guess, uh, specifically about my experience with the latest antidepressant I'm trying, which is Wellbutrin, um, because I wanted to talk about it because uh, my experience with it has been um, very uh, impactful, I guess I could say, and I was really hoping that maybe if someone is uh, going through the same stuff that I am right now, so maybe this video could help them. Uh, also, I just want to document my um, my uh, progress, I guess. So to start off, um, I would say that uh, I've been diagnosed with depression and anxiety since last uh, December, like December 2021. Um, but I pretty much for sure know that I've been struggling with uh, depression and depressive episodes since early 2000s. I just never really... Uh, went to, you know, to medical professionals um, to to treat it. You're back. Do you want to do you want to bite me again? Please don't. <sighs> okay, let's just let's just let him be here. No, I will need to censor your butt. What the fuck are you doing, kitty? Why are you doing this to me? please. Okay, I'm gonna try to continue. Um, so I've been diagnosed with depression and anxiety uh, in December last year, 2021, and I have been in therapy since um, going to doctors, uh, to my therapist, every week, but she's on vacation now for like uh, a bit over a month, and maybe that's, that's just like a, um, one of the reasons why I'm making this video, because uh, the person that I am usually talking to about these things is just not available. And I guess, yeah, okay, well, whatever, uh, moving on. So, uh, since I've been in therapy, I have been prescribed uh, a few antidepressants. So, it was, uh, at first it was fluoxetine, uh, then vortioxetine, and then sertraline, in that order. And sertraline is the one that I've been taking the most. You might know it as uh, uh, its brand name is Zoloft. Um, and yeah, my doctor, I guess she didn't think that any of these medications uh, worked worked for me, like really worked. Maybe there was some progress, but not, not really anything that could get me out of my deep, dark uh, state. So she prescribed Wellbutrin to me um and it's been i've been taking it a little bit over a month uh 150 milligrams i think uh and uh what exactly i wanted to talk about um well first of all i guess i will explain what is it is there something on the wall that i can't see 
Okay. I guess this is the most chaotic vlog ever. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so Wellbutrin is an atypical antidepressant um, and can be used like a supplementary medication or on its own in patients that have not uh, shown like significant progress with first line antidepressants, which are usually uh, selective serotonin uptake inhibitors or SSRIs, which uh, also have been um, like fluoxetine and sertraline, sertraline that I have been taking. Those were both SSRIs. And um, what was the one with the vortioxetine was, um, it's not really uh, known exactly how it works, but it also worked with serotonin levels. So all three antidepressants before worked with the serotonin levels in my vein, but Wellbutrin works with uh, norep norepinephrine and dopamine. So yeah, for the first two weeks or so that I was transitioning from sertraline slash Zoloft to Wellbutrin and I had some uh, side effects. Uh, which I won't go into detail here, but of course I can make like a separate video about that. But um, the, I guess the scariest ones were uh, some dizziness that I experienced, but it went away. I experienced like, I don't know, like four or five instances of it, like very intense dizziness for like a couple of seconds. And then it went away and I haven't experienced anything like it since. So I'm not particularly afraid uh, about that. But the other side effect that made me really worried and actually took me by surprise is um, anger, like extreme irritability. And um, like you get so angry on Wellbutrin sometimes that you just, it's very hard to control yourself. And I have not been an angry person um, maybe when I was a kid, I had maybe some, you know, anger tantrums, but I have been pretty calm person, like most of my life, uh, and having these uncontrollable anger issues was a very like new experience for me. And I really didn't like how it made me feel, uh, how it made me act like towards my, um, closest people and stuff. So that's, that's the thing that I had to manage. And actually it's. The anger stuff is like a whole different story on its own and I could make, you know, a separate video about that because there's a lot to say about that. But um, if we if we move on uh, to how Wellbutrin worked, I, uh, despite side effects and stuff, I started noticing that I started to feel uh, really, really good. I started to feel really clear-minded about things I wanted to do. And not only about what I wanted to do, but I actually felt motivated and active enough to do them. And I did. I did so many things. And uh, every day I was waking up like really clear-minded. And yes, of course, I felt like a tiny bit of um, like heaviness when you wake up in the morning but it was like it couldn't be compared to how i felt before i started therapy because for many many years uh, most of my mornings were like i just couldn't move at all i remember waking up and my body just hurting so much and from anxiety and uh, depression i guess that i couldn't move and i knew all the things i had to do but i just felt paralyzed and it was horrible so feeling this completely opposite feeling of waking up and, you know, wanting to get up and like going and doing things, it felt completely life changing. And I fell in love with that feeling. And the interesting part was that I was like, oh my God, is this how normally functioning people feel? Is this how they feel every day? They wake up, they go to, they go do things and they feel okay about it and they want to do things. Is this how, I don't know, people who achieve stuff in their life, is this how they feel? And it was so interesting to me to see this very big difference between how I felt then and how, how easy it was now on Will Butrin to feel, um, you know, like a 
like a normal person, if you can call it like that, just for the lack of a better word, I just felt, I just felt, you know, that I could be me, I could do stuff that I wanted, and it felt just amazing. So I was quite productive, but of course I was, uh, you know, like checking in with myself every day and writing down stuff like my thoughts and, um, you know, processes that I, like emotional processes I was going through and trying to understand and analyze what's up with me. So uh, partly because my therapist was on vacation and I thought that if I would, if I could write like everything down, I could, um, it would be easier for me to explain to her what happened during the time she was away um and what i realized was that the you know the the idea that i could not function as a uh, as a proper person without pills it made me really sad because well it's like sad at uh from one perspective and uh from the other perspective it reassured me a little bit that you know depression is not something that is just you know in in my head i mean in a way that it's not something that i imagined it's not that i'm lazy or it's not that you know i'm unmotivated or i don't want to do anything um it's just you know chemical imbalance in my brain and realizing that and you know understanding that it can be fixed it made me feel uh, hopeful um, and it also helped me to stop feeling guilty of being this depressive person because I, I mean if, if you are depressed chances are you know this guilt that you constantly feel about not being able to be um, you know like a, like a normal person so yes um the difference the difference for me was just completely completely insane so i felt quite happy and i felt like finally this stone cast that was you know all this time around my body that couldn't that just paralyzed me and wouldn't let me move that it had been broken and that i could finally do you know everything i ever wanted and that heaviness that I felt for so many years, just this lethargic, extreme heaviness, like on your shoulders, that you just, you know, you have to fight every day if you want to do, still, still to do things, was gone. And I didn't have to deal with that at all. And it, I just, I felt so grateful that I could experience this. And um, yeah. I just continued doing stuff, uh, you know, being very active and motivated and being able to wake up uh, in the mornings and um, falling asleep. Okay, but falling asleep is a little bit different story because I, I do use sleeping pills for the last uh, two or three months, but um, the plan is to, you know, stop using them at some point and fall asleep naturally. But at this moment, I just need these sleeping pills because... I just cannot fall asleep on my own because my mind just keeps racing and I just it takes like hours for me to wind down but that's like a separate story and I can you know like make a separate video about that anyway so everything was going great for me and then um at one point uh I had to take like a uh, let's call it a business trip it was a really small business trip when I came back I noticed that I had uh, complete physical and mental exhaustion and I had to take like you know a few days to come back uh, to my usual self and it, uh, I did physically but something had happened and Wilbutrin stopped working for me I noticed that I started waking up in the morning uh, with this brain fog and I couldn't I didn't feel this motivated and active feeling anymore I felt like I was too sleepy, I just didn't care, I just like didn't want to get up. I felt so tired, like this 
heaviness on my shoulders, like all over my back, my body, like I am laying down in bed and this huge boulder is just, you know, on top of me. And for me to get up, I would need to, you know, lift not just my own weight, but this whole thing. And I, I remember being, you know, kind of surprised and at the same time starting to feel really disappointed because I was like, oh no, has, has, has the will butrin stopped working? No, it can't happen. It can't happen to me. Everything was going really well. I was on top of the world. Like I could do anything. What is happening? And I thought, okay, maybe this is just like a mental exhaustion or something that will go away in a couple of days. So I continued to take my pills and hoping that it would, you know, that the effect would come back. But it really didn't. It's been over 10 days now. And um, some days I feel a little bit better. And other days I feel really, really bad. Uh, I feel this pain in my body and I cannot move properly. And, um, you know, I don't feel as motivated or, or as active as I was before. Although I still care about the things I want to do. There are like, I have some aims in my life uh, that I want to achieve some things and, and um, I do care about them. I just don't, I don't feel this. I don't know. I just don't feel this uh, inner force anymore. I just feel too tired, too exhausted all of the goddamn time. And so I just want to sleep. But right now, when Wellbutrin has stopped working, I feel uh, low-key desperate, but I'm still trying to, uh, you know, I'm still hoping that everything can be fixed. Uh, and you know, I'm trying to remind myself that therapy is not a linear thing. Like this is a, this is an interesting idea that a lot of people um, in my life, when they found out that I was go going, you know, to therapy, they thought that um, my life is going to go like, it gradually is just going to go up and it's going to be better. Um, and they were surprised when it didn't it didn't work that way it just doesn't work that way so hopefully with this story i hope that i can help you know at least one person who maybe feels alone or desperate maybe that they're in the same situation as me that their medication has stopped working and they don't understand why and uh, of course you need to talk to your doctor definitely and this is what i'm gonna do as i said she comes back in 10 days and i cannot wait and i want to discuss everything with her and hopefully maybe then I can uh, return with a little update, hopefully a positive one. So yeah, stay, stay strong guys and see you soon. Bye.